Hello everyone, this is Yong from your Korea friend. Are you planning a trip to Jeju Island? Today is the second video introducing attractions in Jeju Island. Last time I went over attractions in the left side of Jeju City, which is in the upper part of Jeju Island. Today I will go over the right side of the Jeju City. Let's see what's in the east side right away. 사련이 Forest Road 사련이 means sacred forest. This is a forest road with thick cheddar trees and is also a Jeju Biosphere Reserve designated by UNESCO in 2002. If you keep walking along this road, you can walk the 3-hour tracking course to Murchanorum. You don't have to walk all the way. You can just walk as much as you want from the entrance of Saryeonyi Forest and come back. Jeolmun Natural Recreation Forest this forest was built to help visitors cultivate healthy emotions and provide recreational space. Many tourists visit this place to stroll through the cheddar trees to have a refreshing experience with clean air. Even on the rainy days, many tourists visit here because it gives that dreamy vibe. Kim Kyung-suk Sunflower Farm a farming couple runs this sunflower farm on their own. There are about 75,000 sunflowers growing on 8 acres of large land. Many people visit here to take pictures. If you visit Jeju Island in summer, visit here to see an amazing scenery of countless sunflowers. Jeju Stone Park Since Jeju Island is a botanical island, stones are symbolic. In this Jeju Stone Park, there is a museum and an ecological park where you can see the stone culture. It is a place where you can see many stone statues on a very large scale of 245 acres of land. Also, here you can know more about legendary story um, Sermunde Halmang and General Obek who created Jeju Island. This place is so famous that it is considered one of the must-see tourist spots in Korea. So visit this place and see the stones that are the symbol of Jeju Island. Echo Large Theme Park At this theme park, you can get on a ride of this 1800s steam locomotive to see 4.5 long Gordalwat, which means forest stone field. You can see the unique forest of Jeju Island. Each station in Echo Land is divided into different themes, so you can enjoy a different views at each station. In addition, there are lavender, green tea, rose garden, herb, rose, and European gardens. Hamdok Beach In Jeju, the most beautiful sea color are known to be Hyopje, Kimnyeong, and this Hamdok Beach. Here you can see exotic palm trees, white sand, and emerald green sea. Also, there is a glass field next to the beach where you can enjoy a picnic. In summer, the beach is open until night, so you can enjoy the night beach in summer. Sangunburi Sangunburi is a crater designated as a natural monument. It is a protected place because it has a variety of rare plants. The walk up to the top of the Orem is easy and short because it is not steep. In autumn, many people visit here because this Orem becomes a silver glass field. Komun Orum This is the only Orum in Jeju Island that is listed as a UNESCO World Natural Heritage because of its high geological value due to the lava caves that was created by the lava. The scale of this lava cave is said to be world class. There are three tracking courses here. One hour course to visit only the summit, two and a half hour course to see summit and the crater, and three and a half hour course to tour the whole area. You can only visit the Common Autumn by prior reservation, so if you want to visit here, make sure to make a reservation beforehand. Snoopy Garden Attention to those who love Snoopy. This garden is a Snoopy-themed garden where you can meet the delightful peanut characters in Jeju's nature. There are five indoor theme halls, relationship, daily life, relaxation, happiness, and dream. You can see various exhibitions including the cartoon stripes and videos. There are 11 zones out in the garden featuring classical penis scenes like Charlie Brown's baseball field, Rhinus Blanket Forest, and the Pumpkin King's Pumpkin Patch. This might be a good place to visit with children. Mangjanggul Lava Tube 
This is a lava tube that is about 7.4 kilometer long. It is a huge lava cave with a height of 23 meter and a width of 18 meters. However, the ceiling is sunken in the middle of the cave, so the places where you can enter and exit are limited. Inside the cave, there are various lava tube formations, and there is a Yongam stone pillar with a height of about 7.6 meter, which is known as the largest in the world. In addition, there are thousands of bats living in deep inside the cave. Since the bats are currently endangered, Bangjanggul lava tube is becoming more high in ecological value. Jeju Kimyeong Mage Park Do you want to experience something fun in Jeju Island? Try this maze. Kimyeong Maze Park is a place where you can experience a maze with a wall made up of 3 meter tall evergreen rawandi. Because it is a place where families can enjoy together, it is also a place that Jeju residents love very much. You can also meet cats as there are about 50 cats wandering around this maze. Visit here and try to find your way out of the maze. Kimyeong Beach this beach is also known for its beautiful sea color. The copper color of the sea and Gimnyang windmills make the scenery more beautiful together. There are two geo trails centered around Gimnyang Beach. One is 1.8 km that takes about 15 minutes, and another is 2.8 km that takes about an hour walk. Wurjongli Beach. Wurjongli is a village that means where the moon stays. There is an emerald sea next to the village. This beach is shallow so it is a good place for children to swim in. In addition, it is a place where you can enjoy various water sports such as surfing, snorkeling, and kayaking. There are many restaurants and cafes nearby so it is a place where you can relax and have fun. Pizarim. This place is also called Millennium Forest. It is a rare and mysterious place where old biza trees grow. I think biza trees are called toreyas. In particular, there are three biza trees that are famous. One biza tree struck by lightning, one that is oldest biza tree in Jeju Island called Millennium Biza Tree. Lastly, Romantic Yeonleji Tree, which two trees are connected together. Bizarim is a place where many tourists come for the present phytoncide, which is a substance that is emanated from the trees. Also, there are two walking trails that one takes about 45 minutes and one takes about 1 hour and 10 minutes. Jimibong. Jimibong means land's end. This volcanic cone is called Jimibong because it is an autumn located at the tail of Jeju Island. It is located on one of the tracking trails, so many trackers visit here. The slope here is steep, so wear comfortable walking shoes and climb up carefully. If you go up, you can see Songsan Ilchulbong and Udo at a glance. Dusangbong. Like Jimibong, it is a place where you can see Songsan Ilchulbong and Udo at a glance. It's easier to walk up than Jimibong, so many people visit here to see the sunrise in the morning. If you want to see a beautiful sunrise, visit Dusanbong. Uro Island Uro is a representative island of Jeju visited by about 2 million tourists every year. Although it is a small island, it is a must-see island when visiting Jeju Island because you can see beautiful nature. To get to this place, you have to take a ferry boat from Songsan Port. Everyone needs an ID card to visit Uro, so Foreigners must bring their passports. Once you are in Uro, rent a minute electrical card or bicycle to go around the island. I went over the right side of Jejushi after the left side from the last video. There are a lot of places to visit in just Jejushi alone. There are still more places that I have not introduced. Uh, I have only covered places where I think are must visit attractions when you come to Jeju Island. If I have a chance later on, I will try to introduce more places. That is it for today. Next time, I will go over attractions in Sogipo City, the lower part of Jeju Island. Thank you for watching today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.